pretty good. All done now, though. All right, all right. Got anything going on this afternoon? Um, not a whole lot. Yourself? Nothing. You feel like some golf, maybe? Golf, man. Uh, I don't got the money in the pocket right now. How about a mountain bike ride? Mm, you know what? Legs don't feel so good. No. Um, I don't know. Maybe a hike? <laughs> How about a round of disc golf? Oh, I'd love to frisbee golf. That would be great. Sweet frothing it is. is a uh, walk in the park with your friends. Uh, it's hucking a disc around with friends and you got something to aim for. Disc golf, basically getting together with your buddies, getting out of the house, drinking a few beers. It's played very much like ball golf. So uh, we literally like, literally like golf, I throw from a tee and uh, I get it to a hole. Throw the disc, hit the basket, get it in, uh, in as least amount of throws as you possibly can. Arm, disc, target, brawlfer. Something anyone can do anywhere actually, but up here we have a nice little course. And you're here to have fun, rattle some chains, and enjoy yourself. That's what brawlfer is to me. Bob and Larry and Young Squirt, they hit up the first team. Larry shanks it in the bush. He curses out loud and he kicks the dirt. Bob says, relax, man. It's early in the game. You'll make it up on number two. Cause even girls can reach those chains. What's up, chain seekers? Did you come here to play? Got in for birdies and pushing all the Disc golf, in one form or another, has been with us since the beginning of time. The early cavemen, in search for weapons to extend their ability to slay food, probably found rocks before clubs. In the early steel age, sharpened rings were thrown with devastating effect. They flew with accuracy, caused serious injury, and looked like the modern aerobi. In 1920, Yale students invented the frisbee tossing pie plates from the Frisbee Pie Company to each other and calling Frisbee to warn passers-by. Modern day disc golf started in the 1960s. The early Frisbee golf courses were object courses using anything from trees, trash cans, light poles to fire hydrants as targets. The roots of the sport began when steady Ed Hedrick designed the modern day Frisbee while working for Whammo Toys. Captivated by the flight and feeling of control he could master with the frisbee, Ed saw potential for the disc well beyond what anyone had envisioned or imagined. The game was formalized when Hendrick invented the first disc catching device, consisting of 10 chains hanging in a parabolic shape over an upward opening basket. Ed had said one of his many inspirations for the disc golf basket was so he and his buddies could get on with playing instead of arguing over whether or not somebody had actually hit one of the objects in their makeshift object courses. The Professional Disc Golf Association is the sport's governing body. They oversee many aspects of the game, including course and disc design specifications, as well as national and world championship competitions. In 1964, Steady Ed created a game for he and his buddies that has become a global phenomenon. 
I started frolfing five years ago. Fry phoned me up one day. He's like, why don't you come try this game with me and my buddies? And ever since the first day, I've just... I got involved just from a friend telling me, hey, do you know those guys are hitting garbage cans and street lamps and fire pits down at the uh, campground? And I was like, yeah, I kind of heard about it. I thought they were just a bunch of lowlifes, which uh, was a point already made. But after getting out there and uh, trying it out, I was hooked instantly. So we came up one day and I started throwing some discs, lost some of his discs. And that's it. Uh, I, I came out once and I thought this game is awesome and then, you know, I had a few good shots and then, and, and then you know, I, I know I can do better so I'm always in, in pursuit of doing better. A couple girls said, yeah, you've ever gone for all I'm not, no, no, I've heard of it back home but never got here and then, uh, yeah, we came out and uh, it was awesome. It was fun. I think we even started with an ultimate disc. I mean, I think we were using crispy build discs at the time and shooting at trees and baskets and garbage cans and sometimes even your dog. I started frothing, I guess, just to uh, calm the baby down when he was a couple years old in the, in the uh, stroller. And uh, I got a little addicted to it, so I guess that's why I, you know, I keep doing it. I froth for the social aspect of it. I, I really froth to get together with the guys and um, you know bullshit about uh, about uh, disc golf and other uh, stuff that we bullshit about. Well, uh, there's a real fast learning curve to frisbee golf. You can come out for your first time and enjoy it pretty much right away. But also one of the things is that you know not everyone does it, and that it's something different. It's something that you can talk about and something you can say, hey, you know, I do this and I do that. You know what? I froth strictly out of uh, at the fun. It's all about the fun. Yeah, oh, it's it's about our pace, you know. I mean, there's ultimate or there's froth, and it's <laughs> it's not our decision. <laughs> People are competitive with themselves on it. Uh, you know, you want to do better than your time before. You want to do. You want to best your score all the time. At least that's the that's the guys that I play with. That's the beauty of the game, because then you can, you know, you're never gonna beat the game entirely, right? So it's always a challenge, it's, and that that'll never end, right? I like to beat my buddies every now and then, but if you screw up, who cares? Before you can come out, put some money on the line, and make it worth your while, then it can be a competitive day. But the community itself is a group of really cool, laid-back people that uh, that play the sport seemingly for all the same reason, to get out and have some fun with their friends and and uh, get some fresh air at the same time. I don't know, it seems to be a fairly tight-knit community. There's, there's a lot of people that have known each other for quite a few years that can play, it seems like, at the drop of a dime. The people who usually fall off are, are people that have got time on their hands. <laughs> It's a large collection of dirt bags, really. I mean, these guys, their laces are untied. They, they don't smell well. They don't work. I don't think any of them work, really. I mean, little bits, but I don't say hi to them on the street. Um, they're a little offensive, but the thing is, that's what I do like about Froth. I see them out on the course, and I will say hi to some of them. Um, we just leave paychecks and social status at the gate and come out and have a round. We held a tournament this year called the Spring Fling. Yeah, Spring Fling this year was a blast. I think we had about 45 people out. Uh, lots in the ladies category, which was nice to see. And uh, a good group of guys came down from the Weimar Salmo course to challenge us. And uh, we held home court, brawls and swept every division. You know, the first round went pretty well. It's a nice backdrop, it's nice scenery. The fling, it flung a little bit left and right of center, but uh, things go well. Good group of people, so I'm stoked on things. Toro! First round was, was wonderful. It's great playing with women. It was, you know, absolutely fantastic. The weather couldn't be any better. I shot five pars. Me too. In the first round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm with the big boys. 
and I think I can get inside of their head because the talent, truthfully, might not be enough. I want to compliment the groundskeeping crew on the amount of work they've done. But is there a problem with 18? What, we do 17 holes and then call her quits? Turn that thing off. My putting was fairly good. And I caught a couple snags there going on in the back nine. But all in all, pretty happy with the way it went. I'm just looking to put it back on track here. Maybe, uh, you know, at least a part. Just get me, to plus, get me back to plus one, maybe. Hopefully. Comes out at number five, maybe. Good chance. And I will soon be put to rest now. Sha la 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 la. Sometimes when it hits the chains, it's a great feeling, but I mean, as today just happened to me, I hit the chains in the extra hole and it went through the chains and fell down to the ground and broke my heart that I lost in the extra hole today. So it's a good feeling, and yet it can be a bad feeling. It's uh, a, one of the most exciting feelings. Whether it goes in or not, it's exciting both ways. You know, like uh, if it goes in, it's a uh, huge elation, and if it uh, bounces off and, and goes out, it's like that, oh! It's the heart of the sport is the sound of hitting the chains. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. Get in. Get, get in. in. Oh! I think froth's funner. Disc golf to me sounds and can be a little too established. You run into a real good disc golfer and holy moly like the Adidas and tight shoes and tight pants and like throwback to the early 80s and I think they're quite nerdy. Froth to me is uh, a way of expressing the freedom of the sport and it's a more casual atmosphere if you're a frolfer. This is a frisbee to me and this is a golf course. It's just got different types of holes. You've got drivers, your mid-range, your fairway drivers, and your putters. That's golf, so therefore a froth. Everyone seems to want to call it disc golf because you're golfing with discs, but here in our little community of Rawson, we always like to be different, and frothing's different. That's why it's froth. Uh, amongst friends, it's froth. Outside, it's disc golf. Disc golf because it's a, a more serious and real name, and uh, you need to give credibility to the sport. You gotta go with disc golf because it's it's a more professional name if you want to come across to the the rest of the people that don't know it. Well, what are you saying, Oliver? I say yeah. froth because it's silly and I got nobody to look professional for. Yeah. <laughs> I like disc golf. I don't know why though. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Yeah.
Good round. Oh yeah, yeah. Banner. Not so bad, not so bad. What'd you shoot? Yeah, I shot a plus three. Did you beat me again? Oh Banner, I got uh, plus four today. Got me by one, Banner. I got you plus by four, one. Yeah. 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 Your wife gets yeah. my dollar again. <laughs> Another dollar in her pocket. Yeah. Good round. <laughs> this time, his release looks good. The dick seems to be online. It's a rock and a ricochet. out loud. Don't move at least. Don't be changing it all willy-nilly. Come on. <laughs> I don't work like that. Okay, I can't ready. work like this, Peach. Okay, ready? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I love this game. Me too. <laughs> Who's turn is it? I don't know. Where are my discs? <laughs> <laughs>